Hi guys, I am Melissa Schumann and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DCM haul. Some of these products have been sent to me directly by the brand and some I've ordered myself. Now I was super excited when DCM reached out to me because they have so many products I've never tried, especially there's some other lines that are a bit more expensive and a bit pricier than the um, Ordinary line. It kind of gives you an idea of, you know, I love the Ordinary so much. I don't know if I was like, is it worth it to, you know, try something from Niod or Hylamide or the chemistry. So I'm excited. They, they were so generous to send me some products and I'm really enjoying them so far. They've all been unboxed. Some of them I've tried, some of them I have not. I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions about any of these particular um, products, please leave it in the comments below. So let's get to it. The first item, this is a this was a repurchase because I love it and my husband loves it. It's the Arguline Solution 10%. It's supposed to target the appearance of dynamic facial lines. I had learned about this like many other people on YouTube from uh, Goss Makeup. He said that this was Botox in a bottle. Sorry, that accent was terrible. <laughs> kind of sound Australian. Not only do I love it, my husband loves it. You don't get an immediate result with this particular product. It's something that if you use it over time, you'll start to see the benefits. So a little trick that I've been doing, um, instead of just applying it to the face like with a cotton ball or a, a cotton pad, is I've actually been putting in like 10 to 20 drops of this in my MAC Fix Plus. And it's awesome guys, you should try it. Um, so after I'm done with my makeup, I just spritz, 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 spritz. And I feel like not only does the Fix Plus lock in my makeup, this stuff makes it to where you're like, you, you're not gonna get all those creasing lines from your makeup. So I really, really recommend this. It's worth trying, it's affordable, it's effective. Um, if you've tried this or you haven't, let me know what your experience has been with this particular product. I really like it personally. So this next product is, again, from the from the Ordinary. It is the uh, Niacinamide, I think I'm saying that right. The Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. It is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. I think it's technically like a B vitamin. You're supposed to apply it uh, on the face in the morning and evening before heavier creams. And I love that about The Ordinary because they tell you exactly how you should be using the product and then also other products you shouldn't be mixing. The thing about this particular product is you cannot or should not apply it with vitamin C. So typically what I do is I will apply this only at night before I go to bed and then my um, vitamin C cream I apply in the morning. So I never combine those together. The next one is the again from The Ordinary, the Caffeine Solution. This is their 5% plus EGCG. Now, it's supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and of puffiness. My husband loves this stuff. He's got puffier eyes. I have very, like, hollow, deep set in eyes, so, like, I have, I don't know, I don't have as much of an issue with puffiness as much as I do with dark circles. Now, I didn't see a huge difference for my particular skin or my my particular eye, uh, but my husband has really benefited from it. He really loves it. So I will be repurchasing this for him. Now, this one is new. I have not tried this. I've seen it all over social media, which I'm sure many of you have as well. It is the Ordinary's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. I am so <laughs> excited to try this. However, I am on Retin-A. I use Tretinoin 0.025. Um, percent prescription retin-a um, that I use nightly. I need to make sure that this, I'm not sure if this is safe to do at the same time. I'm actually going to ask my dermatologist and I have such sensitive skin. The last thing I want to do is apply uh, something like this and then have a severe reaction or it's too strong or I don't know. So just, I'm wary of it. From what I've read online, um, a lot of people really like it. They say that it makes their skin super soft. It's supposed to improve the look of and appearance of your skin over time. I did take the liberty to apply a little bit to the back of my hand. I do use a retinol 
on my hand, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, it's obviously not prescription strength, but I did like a patch test. And that's also something that you should always do when, I guess, trying any kind of new product for your skin. Always do a patch test to be sure. So um, I, I did it on the back of my hand. Uh, next, I would probably do it maybe around here. And then if it gets a little red or I have any kind of an issue, um, you know, it's not gonna impact my entire face. So the next thing, I was so excited about this. Again from The Ordinary, it's their 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Now this is supposed to be good for all skin types. It's supposed to be a faster absorbing oil. You'll see the color is really pretty. It's this like golden color. And my understanding too with rose hip oil is it also is supposed to be brightening for the skin over time. I think it has like high amount of like vitamin C or vitamin E in it, I can't remember. So, and because I do have, um, I'm constantly fighting like hyperpigmentation from my pregnancy and just hormones in general, um, I'm always looking for really great products that are gonna help counteract uh, the pigment in my skin. We're almost done with the ordinary. So the last one is, no, this is the second to last, is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus HA 2%. Now, I have that and also the Glycolic Toner, which is their 7% toning solution. I have tried both. My husband loves this. I love the lactic acid. My husband has more oily skin. That might explain why the glycolic is better for him than, than for me. I really, really like the lactic acid at 10% and plus the HA 2%. It just... I feel like my skin is, it's non drying. My skin looks really good after a few days of using this. So moving on. So the next items were sent to me by DCM. I'm gonna start with Hylamide. Now Hylamide, all of these particular brands under DCM are a bit more expensive. Not by a ton, not by a lot from The Ordinary, but they are. I have the Hylamide Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum, and then I also have the Sub-Q Anti-Age. The Hylamide packaging is really cute. It comes like this, very colorful. The Hylamide Sub-Q Anti-Aging Advanced Serum, so this is supposed to target surface hydration, below surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, sagginess, and textural irregularities. I can't talk. My husband's been using this primarily more than this, so verdict is still out on this. I'll do a follow-up review. I have been primarily been using the Hylamide one in the green box. This one says Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum, but it doesn't say Anti-Age. I reached for this one specifically because this one says Dark Circles, and I do have dark circles. It's just a genetic thing. This is all you need Bloop. for both eyes. The next thing from the Hylamide is the Hylamide Hydro Density Mist. This is the box that it comes in. Again, super cute. I love that little C, like the turquoise um, blue, but this is a multi-depth toning treatment for water density. Now, how I've been using this is I've been putting it on, but typically I'll put this on before anything else, like any makeup in the morning. I'll put this on, I feel like it really locks in the moisture. Love it, love it. The next one is the Hylamide HA Blur. I like to mix it in with my foundation. A little goes a long way, and it does do what it says. It gives you a very soft, focused appearance. Again, I was also a little bit concerned about having drier skin. If something like that, would you would see it like get caught in like, you know, the drier patches of my skin, and it doesn't. I love this stuff, and I will, I will repurchase this. This was um, sent to me by the by the brand, but I will definitely be buying this myself because it's good, it's effective. And the next thing I, per well this I actually purchased myself, it is the Retinoil Pro Repair Body Oil by The Chemistry. Guys, this smells so good. The smell is addicting. Um, I will put this on at night and sometimes in the morning. It gives you a really gl nice glow to your skin and just overall like helps you with cellular turnover. So it's not just your face that looks youth youthful, it's your entire body. Something that I've been keeping in my purse all the time is the hand, is also from the hand chemistry. It is the Pro Repair Skin Care for Hands and they say that if you apply it in the morning and evening, you will visibly see re results in 11 days. And uh, I have to say, 
I feel like my hands look really good. And I know people are like, what are you talking about? Like, you're young, of course your hands look good. No, I kind of have like old hands. My hands are very thin and you see a lot of veins. So I feel like, you know, my hands look youthful. Plus I didn't, um, I have not always put SPF on my hands. So naturally they take a beating from the sun as opposed to my face, which I'm always wearing a hat and sunscreen. So this is a definite repurchase for me. And last but not least, we're gonna go over three products from Naya. The first one is the Multi-Molecular Hydrolonic Complex and the other one is the Copper Amino Isolate Activator. They say ideally these work great together, so I have been using them together. This was sent to me by the brand, so I did not pay out of pocket. However, after using them, I will be. This is so worth the money, guys. I feel like these are miracle workers right here. My skin is plump. My skin looks bright and clear and wonderful, and I, I put this on at night. And it just overall just makes your skin amazing, and I love the color of the copper. It just feels like a science experiment every single time I put it on my skin. After trying these two products, I have to try more stuff from Nyad. I'm interested in maybe some um, of the masks or I really want to try the um, hydration vaccine. And last but not least, they also sent me the Lip Biolipid Concentrate. I had already done a review on the Esho Lip Plumper Sculpt they have the same smell. With the Lip Biolipid Concentrate, it definitely like brings out the color in your lips. So what I love about this is instead of putting on a lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that, and I just want my lips to look healthy and plump and full, um, this is excellent for that. Get, this is get out the door, fast absorbing. The Esho, I feel like you do have to wait a little longer. It has more of an oily, greasier feel to it. All right guys, so that's it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me to kind of figure out and know if you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm making. Thank you so much for your support and until then,